Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am showing you a scratch tutorial. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to do character movement today and how you can use character movement to make games and stuff. But today is going to be simple. Um, if you want to see more Scratch tutorials, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will know to make no more tutorials in the future. So, anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so what you're going to do first is, of course, load, go into Google, or your search um, platform and you're gonna look up scratch right oops I don't want to go into my game I want to your sold and that's just my horror game that I made in scratch but um, today I'm just gonna show you the basics so I'm I'm sorry if I have this background um, because you can get it if you want. It's this free scratch add-ons thing. You can add it to Chrome. I have the background to be different because I have the add-on on. But um, first what you're going to do is you're going to click create. And it's going to load you into this. For your screen, it will again be white. I just have a scratch add-on. But um, that is fine. So... Now what you're going to do is you're going to have your character here. You can create your character anything you want. So what I'm going to do is delete my scratch sprite. I'm going to hover down, choose a sprite at the bottom right. And then I'm going to click paint. And now I'm going to create my sprite. So I'm not going to make this too complicated. So I'm just going to make it like this i'm going to get something like this let's just say i'm going to give it a little eye right here right nothing too complicated if i was taking my time it would look good but for now it's just gonna look like somewhat of a dog right that kind of looks cursed but whatever but now what you're going to do is you're going to choose a background that you're going to see at the back. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom right again. But beside it, on the very bottom right, it will show choose a backdrop. You're going to hover over that and go up to um, choose a backdrop. Um, these other options are like Surprise where it would choose a backdrop for you. Upload a backdrop where you can download a backdrop from anywhere and upload it to your Scratch background. And then this is to paint, but for now I'm just going to click on Choose a Backdrop. And there's a lot of different things to choose from. But today, for today, I am going to choose the woods. Okay. So now what you're going to do is we want him to move around. So how you're going to do that is first, wherever you want him to start, so let's say you want them to start over here. So now what you're going to do is go into events on the left. You're going to click, you're going to grab um, when this is clicked. So when the game starts, um, you want to go into motion and you want it to go to X minus 176, Y minus 147 which is where your sprite is right now. So you want them to go there. So now let's say I drag them over here, and when I start the game by clicking the green flag, he will go over there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is I want him 
to move. You can do this by arrow keys, um, ASWD, or anything. But I'm going to keep it simple today by doing arrow keys. You can do this exact same step for any other keys that you want on your keyboard to press. By just, when you go into it, we're going to be using these. So let me get four of these out because there's four arrow keys. And I'm going to use four to go up, down, left, right. But um, you can just simply click on this and change it to like A if you want to go left with A. But I'm going to do um, left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, and down arrow. So right now it's not going to do anything because we haven't added the code. So now what I'm going to do though is I am going to make it so that when right arrow is pressed, he steps however many times right that you want him to go. So how you're going to do that is you're going to go into motions. You are going to grab move 10 steps. And now whenever you click right arrow, he will move 10 steps. But let's say I want him to move more than 10 steps, so like 20 steps. Then when right arrow is pressed, he'll move 20 steps. So now what I'm going to do is I want when the left arrow key pressed, he moves left. So now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to do negative 20 steps. So now if I connect that with one left arrow pressed, one left arrow is pressed, it will go negative 10 steps. Okay, or 20 steps. So um, now let's do the same with the up arrow and down arrow, except we're not going to use these two blocks. We're actually going to do change Y by. So let me grab two of these, and now I'm going to do change Y by 20 when I press up arrow. And when I press down arrow, change Y by minus 20. Um, if you haven't known, um, to do left arrow and right arrow instead, you can do change X by right here. And it will be technically the same thing, like change X by 10, then... When right arrow pressed, it will change X by 10. So it's the same thing. But let me show you how this is done. So um, X, which we're using minus 20 steps and 20 steps instead of X, is going left and right. So X is like the bottom, how much you're going left and how much you're going right. And Y is going up and down. So if we do minus 20y, then we'll be down. If we do 20y, then it will go up. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out. So when I go up, he's going to move change y by 20. When I go down, minus 20. Right? So now this is our guy. We can actually make him go further if we want. We can make them go 30 when right arrow press, minus 30, right? Just simple codes. But now what we're going to do is now that we have our code here, um, when pressed, it's going to do that, then we'll have our code, right? But now what we're going to do is Let's say when left arrow is pressed, we want him to look left. So now what we're going to do is when right arrow pressed, we want him to point right, which is 90 degrees, which is already is. And then minus 90 degrees would be the other way, right? So minus 90 degrees, if we do that, then left arrow, key pressed. He'll go, why is he going up to that? Hold on. How is that possible? Maybe zero? No. Hmm. 
maybe I have something changed, but huh? Maybe it's the way I built them, but um, maybe it's different code. But um, of course here, maybe left. Um, but whatever. So, um, now, um, we have this, so we're good. I'll just try to fix this one more time. Maybe one eight. No, that would make it. It's pointing 180. No, it isn't. Maybe it has something to do with the code. Whatever. But, um... Who? Oh, okay. Some things... Okay. So, let me refresh my page. Because everything's normal. So, minus 30 steps would go left, right? Because right is 30 steps and minus 30 would be left, right? But when I go left, it's putting me up. So, let me um, save this and refresh my page. It's not the code, right? So, let me start the game. There. It's the exact same thing. I don't know why that's changed. But um, now that we have the simple code here, we don't need it pointing 90 degrees because it's not pointing in the other direction, so it doesn't matter. But um, now that he can move around, we're also going to see if we can make him do a motion when we move him right. Um, we can change the motion by flipping him around when he goes left, but you can just, you can just, um, do the exact same steps for the right the other way for when you want to do that. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to go right and going left is the same thing but the opposite direction. So, um, when I go right, I want him to do a motion instead of him just flying right. So what I can do is I can go into costumes and I can duplicate him twice, right? So it's the same thing, but let's say I um, grab this right here and I stretch it out now um i move this like that there and now he steps like that and now we're gonna do the same thing except we're going to grab what he just did so we're gonna click on him and then we're gonna have this thing at the bottom to rotate him so we're gonna rotate him this way like he just did but we're also gonna rotate this so then we have normal and then him stepping and then him finishing the step so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into coat and what we're gonna do is when started we want him to switch costume to one right but then when right arrow key is pressed we want him to switch costume to costume one switch costume to costume three and or two and then three right but you see it's going really fast so you don't see it and we want him to end on it too, right? So when pressed, it just looks the same because it needs to wait. So what we're gonna do is let's make him wait. So let's grab 
three of these and we'll make him wait 0 0.5 seconds, right? Oh, whoops. Um, now let me copy. Oh, no. Duplicate. Um, duplicate. Duplicate. Okay, so now, um, wait 0 0.5 seconds. Then we want him to switch to next costume. Wait 0 0.5 seconds, switch to next costume, and do the same for the end. So now what's going to happen is when we click right, he's going to do that, but maybe want, we want him to do that quicker. So we can do 0 0.1 seconds for all of them, right? And now he does it quicker. You can make him go slower or not, but for now, because I have 30 steps, I think that would be good. And to do the exact same thing on the left, all I'm going to show you for now is how to switch this guy around to look the other way. But for, but for the rest, it's the same thing. But to do the costumes for this, what you're going to do is you're going to, let's say, duplicate this one, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to click on him and flip horizontal. We want everything to flip the other way, right? And now we're going to grab everything that we just did and put them on this side in this way, right? That simple. So you can modify your game by, with the code, you can maybe, with your game, other than just making him move on a blank screen or just on a backdrop, you could do a lot more with this. You could make um, him maybe have to collect things in your game. The guy have to collect things and... Um, when he collects them, maybe you have to go back to a certain place. And you can do a lot more with the motion blocks. But um, for now, that is how to make motion blocks. Again, not it's really simple, not that hard to do. Um, this is... Um, really fun to do and if you want to see more scratch tutorials then hit that like button and subscribe and i'll gladly make some more scratch tutorials but for now see you guys in another video peace out